MaxViz Enhanced Vision Infrared Technology, or EVS, can be an incredible tool for terrain recognition, situational awareness, and precise fire target acquisition, even on a beautiful day through the mountains adjacent to Denali here in Alaska. In this transit, on a beautiful clear day, the naked eye is able to provide an excellent view of the flight route and the surrounding terrain as can be additionally seen in the witness camera. However, take away the bright sunny day and similar mountain passes can be an incredibly stressful journey as we transition from the Anchorage area through the passes towards Seward in South Central Alaska. Being legal to fly under VFR flight rules requires the terrain or ground lighting to be clearly visible to the naked eye. However, those limited visual cues do little to mitigate the stress of the dark transit in dynamic and unforgiving terrain. Take the enhanced vision system into a fire environment and a number of key factors come clearly into play. The smoke produced from a wildfire environment causes localized and oftentimes regionalized atmospheric obstruction of large geographic areas. This relatively small and localized fire provided the ability to test the performance of the MaxViz EVS-1500 sensor for target acquisition during suppression activities, fire line detection for mapping, and the ability to image through the smoky environment as if it were non-existent. As you can see from these following video clips, there is effectively no smoke present in the MaxViz EVS image. However, at times, the smoke completely obscures the pilot's visibility as seen in the witness camera. Also note how the EVS is able to detect the physical aspects of the fire structure while simultaneously imaging the surrounding cool terrain. Had significant rising terrain been present in these practice drop runs, the flight crew would have had more than enough time to deviate, allowing for a safe execution of their suppression activities. Another specific aspect of the EVS-aided fire suppression activities is that because the EVS is a fixed mount technology, the cockpit display can be used effectively like a bomb site to both tailor the flight path of the approach run as well as setting the timing of the drop itself. Because previously suppressed areas in a fire line would present a significantly different thermal signature than the adjacent fire line, bombing crews have the ability to drop immediately next to the last drop areas, both simply and effectively. A reasonable crew resource management standardization of the drop sequence might have the flight crew utilize the pilot not flying to use the MaxViz EVS to guide the pilot flying directly to a drop point and time the actual release in a countdown to a precise point on the fire line. EVS-aided fire suppression activities can present an entirely new paradigm shift in the effectiveness of flight crews and how these wildfires are fought. Because EVS is equally effective day or night, coupling EVS with or without night vision goggle technology would allow much safer around-the-clock suppression capabilities. Additionally, because staging areas in the actual fire are oftentimes located a significant distance apart, the en route transits would be exponentially safer than unaided transit operations. The ability to fight these fires when they are laid down in the evening and very early morning would create a much safer operational profile while dramatically increasing the effectiveness of the physical product delivered on a given fire. This operational paradigm shift saves time and money, increases safety, improves firefighter productivity, and dramatically reduces the fire damage in urban or critical resource areas. MaxViz aided fire operations are a win-win for the flight crews and the environment, while reducing cost, minimizing the spread of catastrophic wildfires, and dramatically enhancing the safety of operations in one of the most hazardous professions on Earth. MaxViz wants you to see clearly, fly safely.